It's gonna be a long day. Bring the camera. Got that? Not really. <laughs> Duramax, come on in. This thing's heavy. Uh -huh. We got a tent! The tent's coming along very well. I feel like I'm at the circus. The tent is finally up. My camera does not know how to adjust to it. Not only is the camera confused, but I'm also confused. I would have never thought that I would be buying a uh, pop-up tent, I guess, just for this project. This is about the size of my garage. I wouldn't be surprised if New York State required me to pay tax on that. Thing's huge. And yes, there's a lot of space for activities. I'm getting to the point where I need to build my new, I'm getting to the point where I have to build my paint gun and read my instructions to make sure everything goes well. I know how to mix my primer, I know what kind of gun I have, so with this gravity feed gun, I'm going to apply two medium coats at a distance of five to seven inches with a five to 10 minute flash time between coats, and then I'm gonna clean the gun. I'm basically setting myself up for success. Like uh, Ace Ventura coming out of that rhino's ass. Remember that? Yeah! <laughs> oh, then look! Man, if only doors were that easy. It's primed, baby. It's primed. Check it out. Check it out. You guys are going to get super... I can tell. You're already excited. I know. I know. Check it out. This looks like a professional job right here. There's no streaks. There's no drips. Nice and smooth and sexy. I mean, look at that job. But this is where it gets more beautiful. Yeah, so what's up, Josh? Yeah, yeah your setup actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, you got, you know, you got a nice tent and everything. Uh, and that's on a concrete driveway, right? Correct. Yeah, so letting that floor down would, would definitely do the trick for that dirt kicking up the dust. Uh huh. But I, I'm just getting to the point where, you know, I, I'm realizing that the Harbor Freight Special paint gun isn't going to. Cut it when it comes to clear coat. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be warm again tomorrow, isn't it? The, the weather lied to me today, so I can look at the same app that I use. It says it's gonna rain tomorrow, but it also said that it was gonna thunderstorm today, so. Right. Do it if you wanna come over and check it out, and uh, we can get this ball rolling, that'd be awesome. You gotta make the phone calls, folks. That's what being a machine freak is all about, okay? Whether you want to do it, whether you want to try to do it, as long as the thing gets done, or even if you're just putting the time and energy and all that other jazz into it, you are a machine freak. So like you heard on the phone, my, my Harbor Freight Special Gun is not going to do it when it comes to clear coat. Um, it's, it did a wonderful job uh, for the primer because you have to sand that down anyways and get all the imperfections out. So when it came to that, good job. The tent's doing well. Josh said that might work. He's gonna come here soon, I guess, which is awesome. He's my cousin. He's a paint kid, or maybe man, I guess I don't know. I consider myself a kid. I'll always consider myself a kid. No, I'm not a quitter. I'm being resourceful. Quitting would be rocking a gray and blue Duramax. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So if you don't think you can do something, try it. If you try it and then you realize you can't keep doing it, call somebody up, hire somebody. At least you reduce the bill. Saving money is one of my favorite activities. What about you? Cole, what's your favorite activity? Saving money. Holy smokes, what do you got in here? Vegetables. 
vegetables. Get your vegetables here. Holy you smokes. Take this one? Look at this. I, I got a camera in my hand. I'll get this shot though. Hey, I just called up Josh. Uh, he might be finishing up the Duramax. He dropped some, he dropped some salad. Kale.